Alright, what's up guys, Bazza here today. Quickly, little random video part at the start of the Fortnite video. Uh, I just wanted to say a few things quickly. I asked the other day on my community tab on YouTube for some video ideas. A ton of you guys gave me some really good ideas, so I just want to emphasize that a lot. If you guys are watching the videos, let me know your comments down below, okay? I was just thinking I'm actually in the middle of editing the video that you're seeing right now, but I was like, honestly, I just want to know some video ideas because, hey, I'm there. I'm, you guys have all got minds, okay? And I'm sure you can all put together some great ideas. So, with all of us, you know, thinking and, you know, having video ideas at my disposal for me to make into videos, it makes my life a lot easier. As well as it actually, you know, features you guys and makes content that you guys want to see, if that makes uh, any sense at all. So, yeah, let me know some ideas down below. And also, thank you all so much for 100, sorry, not 100, 85,000 subscribers. I appreciate that. We hit that the other day. And, uh, yeah, well, 15 away from the big 100,000, what, 14,700 basically. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, make sure to do that. But, yeah, anyway... That's just a little segment at the start of this video. I just wanted to say, um, let me know your video ideas down below. And yeah, enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Alrighty, yo, what is up, guys? It is Buzzer here today, back with another video. I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Now, guys, as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be going over some skins that I regret buying inside of Fortnite. Recently, I asked for some, you know, video suggestions. You would have heard me talk about it in the intro of this video. Um, but yeah, this was one of them I picked, so shout out to the people that suggested I go over some skins that I regret. I actually have done one of these, but it's actually been quite a while, at least like probably five, six months ago. So yeah, we're doing an updated one today with some more recent skins um, that I've bought. And we're going to be going over why I regret not buying those, or I, why I regret buying them. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and use supporter credit code BAZA if maybe you enjoy some of the skins I feature in this video or want to buy anything and make sure you go ahead as well as subscribe to the channel. We are 15,000 subscribers away. It's absolutely insane. Spread the word. We're trying to hit 100k out here. So yeah, first one guys, as you can see, is the Fallen Love Ranger. Now I know this isn't, you know, an item shop, um, I guess, skin. But, yeah, like, I sort of do regret buying this guy. Not because the skin's absolutely terrible, but, like, this thing was, like, 45 Australian dollars, right? Now, I'm gonna be honest, the main reason I got it was, you know, you get 2,000 V-Bucks with it. So, you're basically getting two legendary skins for, you know, $40. So, that's a pretty good price going off, you know, Australian dollars there. Um, you know, it's basically, you'd have to buy 2,800 V-Bucks to buy a legendary skin, and that's about 37 Australian dollars. So you're getting pretty much two legendary skins for about the price of one. So that's pretty good. Um, so it was mainly just the V-Bucks I got it for, but like, I don't use this skin at all. So in a way, like, I regret not, I, I regret buying it, but at the same time, it's like, it was sort of worth it. But yeah, that was the first one there, guys, the Fallen Love Ranger pack. Moving on to the next one here. We have the Ice Queen. So, the Ice Queen. Definitely a better version of the Ice King, that's for sure. A lot, lot better. Um, I saw this in the shop and I just bought it, okay? I, I just bought it. I didn't really think about it. I was like, yeah, she's cool. Bought it, you know, I just looked at the front cover type of thing. I bought her and yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I will say, she is pretty good. She does have a lot of variants and, you know, customizable stages, lights, whatever. That's cool. And her back bling is also changeable, but I don't know. I just don't really use her at all, and the whole Ice Queen, Ice King thing, I'm just not a fan of the style, if I be completely honest, just that sort of skin theme, I'm not the biggest fan of. Now I know obviously she's not bulky like the Ice King, so that's good, but I don't know, I just don't find myself using her. The back bling, you know, I don't use it on too many skins either, like it is a pretty cool back bling, you know, and I guess it's a pretty good legendary skin for your value if you do like it, you know, you get styles and all that. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next one, guys, we have the Cobalt Starter Pack, okay? Now I know it's a starter pack, and you know, I guess it's not really my biggest regret. It was only like five or six bucks, and obviously, it's pretty good. You get a skin, cool back bling, and also like a bonus 500 V-Bucks, so that's pretty cool. And obviously, that's the main reason why I bought this starter pack. I think, for me at least, I usually buy starter packs just for, you know, what you're actually getting inside it. I don't know if that's just me. Let me know if you buy most of your starter packs just for, like, the free V-Bucks and, you know, maybe the back bling or whatnot. But, yeah, this is, now that I think about it, the worst back bling. Oh, this is the, this is the worst starter pack, in my opinion, okay? 
solely my opinion, that is the worst starter pack. I remember at the start, I was so hyped about it. I'm like, yeah, dude, that is such a cool starter pack. I bought it. Now I think about it, it it's trash. I don't know why I liked it. I hate the robot sort of su superhero theme. It reminds me of season four, and season four was one of the worst seasons, in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't know. It just gives me bad vibes, but yeah, that is it for the Cobalt starter pack there. Alrighty guys, moving on to the next skin here, we have the Kit Bash. Now this is just one big regret. I'm not even gonna lie guys, like this guy is, he, he looked cool at first, it's a cool concept, it's like a whole robot dude made from trash, and hey, he fits the theme, he's pretty trash. The skin's actually not too bad looking, okay, it's, it's okay, but it just is such a newbie looking thing. It's like not even really that good. I don't know. I was sort of really hyped about it. It was like that sort of, I guess, what do they call it? The, um, what, dude, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like the sort of romantic start, I guess, that type of thing, okay? I didn't actually spend enough time with the skin or sort of just think about my decision. I just bought it and it's really not that good. I mean, it's a 1,500 V-Bucks. It's not like it was the biggest loss in the world. And the main thing I actually saw was the back bling. I sort of just looked at the back bling. It's like, hey, the back bling is cool. And then I went ahead and bought it. And, you know, he's got that cool little trash can, trash uh, trash lid back bling, which is really the main reason I bought it. But I don't even really use that very much. Overall, it really was just a bit of a waste of V-Bucks. But, hey, I don't know. It is what it is. And we're going to move on with things. So, yeah, next one here, guys we have is the Disco Diva. Now, this one, I 100% bought just for the back bling, okay? When this thing dropped, it was like 1,200 V-Bucks. I mean, it still is. And for 1,200 V-Bucks, you got this absolutely amazing back bling, which I still stand by my words. I think it really is a cool back bling. But the thing is about it, it just doesn't go good on many skins. And all I was thinking when I bought this back bling was, this back bling on the Sparkle Specialist looks amazing. And then I went ahead and just made the purchase solely for that reason, okay? And, hey, at the time, yeah, it's a cool combo. It's an amazing combo with the Sparkle Specialist. I made a whole video just on that. But aside from that, I don't think I've ever touched this back bling on any other skin. There's re there really isn't many disco theme skins or any skins that really match that theme of the back bling. So, yeah, a bit of a waste. The skin really isn't that good. She's not the greatest looking skin. Not the worst, but hey, I don't know. It's 1,200 V-Bucks, not the biggest loss in the world. But yeah, moving on to the next skin, guys. We have the Firewalker. Now, I hate this guy. Straight up, I, I don't like this skin anymore. I bought him. I liked him for the first probably hour. Like, literally an hour. Not even gonna lie. And I was like, yeah, hey, this is a pretty cool skin for 1,200 V-Bucks. Um, that's about it. I just didn't like him after the first hour. Don't know why he's a pretty like he's not one of the, like he's not one of those super bulky male skins So that was a part of the reason why I bought him also. He looks pretty cool He was only a thousand two hundred V bucks. And I was like, yeah, hey, this guy looks pretty cool now I think about it It would be nice if he had a back bling like most blue skins are coming with back blings now And I expect that sort of from now on when I buy a blue skin. I know it's how we think now But uh, yeah, that's really it for the Firewalker just not an amazing skin I, I, I don't know what else to say about him moving on to the next one, guys, we have the Cabby. Now, I know, the Cabby, I was so hyped about this skin when it was coming out. I made a video when he got leaked in the game files, and I was honestly excited for this guy to come out because the, whip, the Whiplash, the female version, was an absolute hit. She was absolutely amazing. Everybody loved that skin. I thought, you know, the male version would be similar. A lot of people would use her, and I thought, or I thought he would become, you know, the new tryhard skin because he was in that 800 V-Buck category, and at the time, you know, Tryhards were a thing. Tryhard skins is, I mean, they still are, to be honest. Everyone's looking for a new tryhard skin. When a great skin drops, you're always going to get tryhards that go along with it. But uh, yeah, that didn't turn out to be the case. He's a male skin. He's too bulky. I don't like him. End of conversation. I just don't like male skins in Fortnite. I hate them. There's barely any I like. It's just how it is. And female skins will always be the bomb when it comes to the best skins in Fortnite. But yeah. That is it, guys, for all the skins I regret inside of Fortnite. There's like seven that I definitely do regret buying. Let me know skins you regret buying down below. And if you have any of the skins I featured on this list, and if you like any of them now and are actually going to consider buying them, um, you know, obviously just because I don't like them or I regret buying them doesn't mean they're bad skins. It's just my personal taste, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Remember, leave your suggestions down below. I'm always looking for them. I've got a 
bunch of suggestions now. You guys helped me out so much yesterday. I've got a bunch of videos coming. We're on that grind to 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit 100K in like maybe a month, a month and a half, two months. It's, it's gonna be around there. But uh, yeah, if you guys are gonna buy any of the skins or anything in the item shop, make sure you go ahead and use supporter creator code BAZA. I'd appreciate it. It supports me. We got like five, six hundred supporters right now. I absolutely love you guys. So yeah, make sure you re-enter it after 14 days as well if you are going to continue to support me because uh, Epic decides to change that every now and again. But yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. I'd appreciate it. My name's Bazan. I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody, and bye-bye.